Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 12th of 2020, well, it is titled The Shifting Tales of Comet Neowise. So what do we see here? Well, here we see images of Comet Neowise stretching over the course of a little over a week from July the 17th on the right hand side to July the 25th on the left. And as we see the comet move, we can note that its tail is pointing in different directions. And this is especially noted in the ion tail, the blue tail that stretches straight back away from the head of the comet, not the much wider uh, dust tail that kind of spreads out towards the right hand side. The ion tail is pointing directly away from the sun. And that is because it is very light particles and the sun is able to push those particles straight back very quickly. The dust tail will lag behind a little bit in the orbit. So here we see when you pull up the image, you will see those uh, five images of the comet with the dates. And you will see the sun's path where the sun would have been down below. So this is where the sun would have been on each of those days. So we can see that the sun would have slowly moved and as the comet moved through the solar system, the direction its tail points is different each time as it is moving around the sun. So as the comet comes into the solar system in towards the inner solar system, the tail will lag behind it pointing towards the outer solar system and away from the sun. However, when the comet does not as now Neowise is doing and is leaving the solar system, the tail will actually be leaving first. So the comet will be running into its tail, the material will be pushed away from the comet, and the tail will be leaving the solar system first as it heads back out into the depths of space and will not return for several thousand years. Now if you want to see the image without all of the annotations all you have to do is move the mouse over the image and those annotations will disappear and there you can see the five images of the comet as well as the Big Dipper up towards the top of the frame there as well stands out very prominently and was a good way to be able to identify Comet Neowise back in July when it was visible to the naked eye. As it gets further away from the sun and the earth now it's getting fainter and fainter and you pretty much need a small telescope to be able to pick out the comet anymore and soon it will disappear from sight and again not return for thousands of years. So that was our picture of the day for August the 12th of 2020. It was titled The Shifting Tales of Comet Neowise. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.